Hi, I'm Bill, shop manager, Madness Auto Works, Texas, and today I'm going to show you how to install the Max Power Pro V2 on your Alpha Stelvio. Right, the first steps are if you want to make sure the motor's cold, open the hood, roll down the driver's window in case you have to get in there, open the rear hatch, and you're going to disconnect the battery, which is under here on the Stelvio. Right here, right here. And what you're going to do is you're going to push on this gray button right here, like so. There you go. Battery's disconnected. You're going to go ahead and slide that down beside the battery so it doesn't accidentally make contact while you're working on it. 10 millimeter socket. There's one on each side. Go ahead and remove this bar completely. Okay. You're going to pull it from the driver's side and then just fish out the passenger side, just like that. Go ahead and set it aside. Take a pick, and you're going to remove these. These are tethered, but sometimes they fray, and you don't want to drop it down in there. So I normally put them up like this, and then you have a 10 millimeter here and here. Okay, you're going to push on these yellow tabs. There's one on each side to remove this hose. Undo the clip, and then take this cover loose. Two tens. You can take that loose. And this is one of your sensors right here. Alright, now we're going to take loose this cowling, the wiper assemblies. Uh, one thing to go on the Stelvio, you have these. These are for your windshield washers. You're going to want to undo these because um, it is going to come up with the cowling. I use tape to mark the orientation of the wipers so when you reinstall them they'll go back exactly where they need to go. Pull off the rubber covers. 17 millimeter. The nut and washer need to come off on both sides. Next, you're going to take this clip off and you're going to take the hoses for the windshield washers um, and they're going to go with the wiper assembly. So you're going to take it and just take it loose here and here and then we'll just take these off together and take it all off. All right, so you don't have to have a puller. It does make it a lot easier. This is a tie rod puller. They, there are windshield wiper arm pullers. They're cute. Um, um, just a little mini version of this. Like that. You're gonna, on both sides, you're going to take, take this T25 out. And you're going to pop this cut, this piece. It's going to go straight towards the center of the car. Just get fingernails behind it here. It goes one clip. Two clips, just like that. One, two, and then your bolt was here. T30 right here. One on each side. You take this loose. You're gonna take your finger and you're gonna pull up in this corner here. Okay? Alright, you're gonna pull up on it and you're gonna pull it out on the wheel, just like that. Just talk a little bit. Like so, alright. Alright, these clips here need to come off. This holds, this is your um, this is your hood release cable for the right side. That's what this is. You're just going to take it loose of the bar, like so. Take this harness off. Okay, release it. And then behind it, you can get behind it and release it. Just make your screwdriver right there. It's a little clear clip. You pull it, just like that. There's the clip. So what you do is just get behind it here. 
um, and you'll be able to slide this off like that. Okay, next, take the 13 millimeter nut off. Now you want to pay attention to the way this cable is routed with this bar. Well, it goes over this side, then along here, clips here, here, and here. So just slide that out. Okay, next, you're going to take your wiper motor assembly off. There's three 10 mils that hold it on. Okay, I'm going to flip it over. There you go. Just push down. So C is your cam position sensor. And down behind the turbo, there's a heat shield. You're going to bend the heat shield out of the way, and that it's going to be positioned like this. What you're going to do is you're going to slide back on the red tab. It's red. Instead of white, it's red. And you're going to slide it back towards the firewall, and then push it in, and then pull this backwards. Okay? And then fish it up behind the head. And then you're ready to plug in the max power to your cam position sensor. So now we're going to install the harness. So the first one is A. And that is boost pressure, which is right here. Right here. Pull out and lock, push it in, pull it off, okay? You're going to snake the wires under just to kind of hide everything. Okay, A, this goes to the sensor. You're going to push it on lock. Okay, keep in mind the flat side goes to the flat side inside the sensor. Click lock and then for the harness to the Max Power Pro harness, the lock and this tab right here are on opposite sides. It's also a flat here and a flat right here. So, so all four sensors are going to be the exact same. Lock on one side. And this tab on the other side. B is manifold pressure. It's down here beside the side cover. So what you're gonna do is release the lock. And it's a four pin. It's a four pin, same as all the rest. It's got a flat side. So you're gonna take B. Okay, so you have your lock side. And you have the tab, okay? Also flat, flat right here, flat right here. Click, lock, and then this is down here on the sensor. Which is right there. Now for your cam position sensor. What we're gonna need to do is we're gonna need to route the harness along here and then down. You don't want it over here by the turbo. You will melt these wires. So you can lock on the cam. Now you're gonna take the plug. Like I said, find the lock side. And this tab is gonna go opposite. Snap it together, lock it in place, and tuck it behind the head. We'll zip tie this all up out of the way. Now for our final sensor, which is D, which is fuel pressure. Anyway, the lock is on the back. Just slide it up. There you go. And what you're gonna do is Click lock, and then the same as the rest. Flat side, lock it in place, lock, tap. Now for our power wire, we're gonna put a power wire right here. Couple things I want to go over is a bypass plug. Before you put all your covers back on and your cowling and all that, and you have your connectors all connected, is what you'll do is you'll put the bypass plug in it, like so, and you'll go ahead and start it. And if there's no check engine lights, no monitor, anything like that, your harness is hooked up correctly. You are going to have some warning lights when you start the vehicle. 
I will show you how to reset those at the end of the video. As long as you don't have one of these, you're good. And if you do have a check engine light, what you're gonna wanna do is check every plug. You wanna make sure the flat side and the flat side are together, like so. Locked, very important you lock those. And then this tab and the lock are on opposite sides. Once you've tested your harness with your bypass plug, go ahead and shut the vehicle off, remove the bypass plug, plug in your max power, okay? And then restart the vehicle. Give it a couple of revs and uh, just make sure no check engine lights or anything that pop on. And then you're okay to put the vehicle back together. Right now, as I run the harness, zip tie it all, I put, start putting my covers on and I incorporate the harness along here in that way. I'm gonna run all the wires behind this cover here, like so. We attach our hose. That make sure that clicks. That will set a check engine light if you don't get that clock click. Properly. Make sure you don't pinch any of the wires. Go ahead and start this. Now you're ready to reinstall your wiper motor. Okay. Now to reclip these, this slides on like so. Click lock and then snap this wire like that. And then for your hood cable, click, click. And then one more right there. There you go. So once you have the cow in place, you're going to slip it in this weather strip and you're going to have to push it all the way down. So, all right, now you're going to reinstall your two T30 screws on each corner. Oh, okay. Now that you have your trim pieces on, tighten down the two T25 screws. Now you're ready to install your wiper assemblies. Okay, and we're gonna line it up with our tape and push it straight down. Just like that. Now it'll stay in place, okay? Okay, now as you got those pushed on, you wanna go check your tape. Lined up, lined up. Now you can go ahead and tighten your nuts down on both sides. And you're going to route your wiper hoses like so. Plug it in. Route these guys. Push this down in this little valley like so. One here. Push it down in this valley, and then one here. Pieces, one goes here. So, now you're ready for your engine cover. Put your brace bar on, pass your side first, work it under that harness, and drop her straight down to 10 millimeters. Now you're ready to hook up the battery. Pull the cable. And all you gotta do is push it straight down on the battery and it should click lock. Pull up on it, make sure it's locked in place. Battery's really hooked up. And put the rear hatch back together. Okay. You will have to relearn this. 
Okay, because it will not close. All right, so you gotta pull it, shut it, opener. And there you go. Okay, all right, you're ready now to start the car. Um, and I'm gonna show you how to relearn the steering angle sensor. So what you're gonna do, is you're gonna go ahead and start the car. And you're gonna turn and hold the steering wheel to full lock for five seconds. One one thousand, two one thousand, three one thousand, four one thousand, five one thousand. Okay, and go all the way to the other side. Hold it, one one thousand, two one thousand, three one thousand, four one thousand, five one thousand. Then you're gonna return it to middle. Shut it off. And restart it. Now everything's reset. Okay. All right, now that you got your wipers back on, cars all back together, you're just gonna double check it, make sure it sweeps properly. Just pull up on the handle and just make sure she's, they're not hitting, they're lined up with the tape. There you go. Now that you checked your wipers, you can take all the tape off. That is how you install the Max Power Pro V2 on your Alpha Stelvio. Any questions, give us a call or email.